Today we're running through the basics of how to do a push-up. Push-ups are fantastic exercises because they work so many muscle moves. They primarily involve your pectorals, which are the chest muscles, and then also your anterior deltoids, which are the muscles at the front of your shoulders, your triceps, which are the three muscles running down the backs of your arms here that are involved in any pushing movement that you do. And then also what a lot of people don't always remember to take into account is that when you're doing a push-up, you're connecting the top half of your body with your lower half. So you're also involved in your core as well. Your core has to work really hard when you're doing a no knees push-up from the ground. So we're going to start off with basic body position. You want to have your hands facing forward. I've seen quite a few girls in class doing weird things with their hands are kind of facing inwards and that. If you do that, you're just going to put a lot of strain on your wrist and if you're struggling with wrist pain already, you definitely don't want to do that. Um, anything like this, also a no-no. There are variations of push-ups that do have that kind of hand position, but they're a lot more advanced and they're nothing you want to be getting into right now if you're just starting out learning how to do push-ups. So hands facing forwards on the ground. Um, you want to keep them about shoulder width or just wider than shoulder width apart. As for your elbows, you can choose whether you want to have them sticking out to the sides. I know a lot of people will say don't do that, but if you speak to a biokineticist, they would absolutely say elbows out to the sides when you're going to do a push-up because that's where you're really going to target those chest muscles and your shoulders. If you keep the elbows tucked in against your body, you're going to put a lot more emphasis on the triceps. So the closer your hands are together and the more into your body your elbows are, the more you're going to involve those triceps in the push-up motion and that's going to build them nicely. But ultimately for a regular push-up, you can have your elbows within about a 30 degree line of your body so they're not fully sticking out to the sides but they're also not entirely close to your body either. They're just kind of at a comfortable angle like that. Then the other things to remember is you don't want your bum sticking up. That is also a variation of a push-up that really targets the shoulders. It's called a pipe push-up but that's not what we're doing today and we're just going to master the basics. Um, the other thing you don't want to you want to avoid is letting your bum sag down. Show you that from the side. So you want to avoid that kind of position because then absolutely nothing is happening with your core and in fact you're just putting a lot of strain on your lower back. Again, there are variations of push-up, like a cobra push-up that would have you more in that position, but it's a much more controlled movement where your core is engaged, your glutes are nice and tight, and you're taking the pressure off your lumbar spine. So we're gonna start off hands just kind of in line with your shoulders, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, fingers facing forward, your core is nice and strong, and we're just and keep your head looking forward as well. That's another thing that you don't want to do. So you don't want to have your neck kind of hanging down like that because your head is actually quite heavy. And when you allow your head just to hang down, you can actually put a lot of strain on your neck. So you want to maintain that neutral spine position where you're actually looking at a point a little bit ahead of you, just to keep your head up and just maintain that neutral spine position. Okay, so, and again, this position, looking forward, you're on your toes, your core is engaged, your glutes are pulled tight, and then you're going to lower down to the ground. Just like that. And push up again. Now, if that's too hard, the general advice is to drop to your knees. I'm not a huge fan of the knee variation for people who aren't ready to do a full push up yet because essentially that takes your core out of the equation. So absolutely assisted push-ups or modified push-ups as we call them, not girly push-ups. They are no girly exercises, it is just a modified push-up. Uh, they have their place, they target more of your upper body and if you're looking to build upper body strength there's absolutely a place for them in your push-up routine. But when, if you're learning to do a full no-knees push-up,
push-up. Doing push-ups on your knees is just going to get you really good at doing push-ups on your knees. So rather, what I would recommend is do sets of one, if you can manage it. So just do your one push-up and up. Then take a breather, do another push-up. You don't need to be banging out sets right off the bat. Just focus on your form and building up that strength. A great way to learn to do a push-up when you're first starting out is to elevate the surface of your hands. So if you're doing it kind of at, not flat on the ground, but at an angle with your hands on an elevated surface, that'll make it a little bit easier and will help you to build up the strength that you need to be able to manage to do a full push-up. So you can see I've got my ottomans here. So I'm going to put my hands on the ottoman. Get into that nice push-up position. Core is tight, bum is engaged. Looking forward and low down. So the higher the surface you use, the easier that movement is going to become. If the ottomans or a bench are still a little bit too hard for you, you can raise the surface even higher by using, say, your sturdy dining room table or something that's like a low wall. Something that's even higher is going to make it even easier and allow you to build up the strength that you need for the full push-up. If getting into that position is still too much of a challenge, you can absolutely go against the wall. So there you would put your hands against the wall Get into that nice body position where your core is engaged, your bum is nice and tight, you're looking forward and you lower towards the wall. So even that is an excellent exercise for a beginner because it's going to help you build up the strength that you need in your upper body and the strength that you need in your triceps to ultimately then start moving to the dining room table, to the ottoman, and eventually to the floor. Another variation, if say you're doing a workout that requires you to do push-ups at a time, or if you're in a gym class setting, for example, is you get into your push-up position, nice and strong, you lower to the ground with control, bring your hands overhead, release them, bring them back under your shoulders, and you push up nice and strong. Over down, release over head, and you bring up and push up nice and strong. Those are the variations that I would recommend instead of doing push ups on your knees. But if it is just upper body strength that you're trying to build and you want to do a push up on your knees, try to avoid this situation where you're on your knees and you're basically on all fours and you're doing some kind of weird like bow into the ground or just like a little kind of dip like that. Even if you're on your knees, you want to maintain the right body position and maintain good form. So you want to get your body into this nice scoped position as you would be if you were doing a no knees variation push up. You want to engage that core, tighten that bum, make sure that your hands and arms are in alignment, look forward and you lower and up, lower and up. So there's no running of the back, there's no sagging of the hips, or I already feel that in my spine. You're just in that nice controlled position, abs contracted, glutes contracted, and you're lowering and pushing back up again with control. I really don't want you to think of progressions as cheating or as a cop out in any way. They are not that. The idea with exercise in any form is always to challenge yourself. So do what is challenging for you and you will grow. If you see someone doing some fancy Superman push ups, lifting their hands, doing all kinds of weird things, cool for them. They're doing what's challenging for them and that's going to help them achieve some kind of goal that they're working towards. But you're on your own journey, so if you are trying to just get your first no knees push up, that is amazing. And you need to do what's challenging for you to help you get there. If you try and do your no knees push up and you're absolutely nowhere and you're just doing it really badly, 
you're not going to build up any strength, you're probably just going to hurt yourself. So rather do the regressions, start in the beginning, start in your ottoman, start against the wall, start with your hands going over your head and pushing up from the floor. Whatever feels challenging for you is going to build up the strength that you need to ultimately be able to get up off your knees, get into that push-up position and just absolutely rock that move and feel totally badass. So go out there and smash it.